this is how to plant a fruit tree 101. Especially if you're in Florida, we use the nursery rhyme, plant it high and it will fly, plant it low and it will grow slow. So on your root ball, probably about that much of the root ball is actually gonna be above the soil line. So think um, about a fourth of the root mass is gonna be above the soil line. When you dig your hole just slightly bigger than the root ball itself, and then you're gonna peel back your wood chips. We don't want any of those wood chips going down into the hole because that's gonna tie up too much nitrogen in the long run. So once you're ready to pick up your tree, we always grab our trees by the root mass and or by the base of the tree, never by the trunk further up because you don't want to snap it and then kind of roll it into your hole. Now a lot of greenhouses are going to tell you amend inside the hole and that's going to make the greenhouse or the nursery look really good because your plant's going to do great at first. The problem with that is if you amend in the hole with your compost and not use the native soil, the root are not going to want to leave that hole. So what we always recommend, use native soil first that you took out of the hole, put that back in around the vast majority, 70% of the hole, and then you can top dress with your compost and with the wood chips. So as you're adding that stuff back in, I like to just give it a little tap with my foot. I'm not stepping on it super hard because I don't want to uh, take out all of the oxygen, but I want to work that soil down in. So this looks pretty good. So we'll grab a couple scoops of compost, put the compost on top. Now, any of our amendments, like our compost, our wood chips, that sort of thing, we're going to keep those way away from the root flare. So think of it being like a donut around the base, not a volcano. The volcanoes are bad. Donuts are always, always good. So all of our compost is going around the base of it here. And then our wood chips are going to come right up on the side. But again, six or eight inches so we can see that root flare because it does breathe through the roots in a lot of ways. So we want to make sure that there is still that oxygen exchange there in the root system. When you are ready to amend the soil, uh, whether it's with manure or other compost, blood meal, bone meal, we never want to do that directly on the root ball. I want to come just outside of the root zone of the root ball on the drip line of the tree and fertilize just beyond that drip line. That way it causes the roots to go out and search for new Nutrients. Remember, we don't want our trees to be comfortable just here. We want those roots to go way out, catching their own nutrients, absorbing water and moisture um, on their own and not being fully reliant on us. So hopefully the tutorial was helpful to you. Have fun and I'll see you in the garden.